Hi everyone, I'm Tom, and today I'm going to be playing CO2 Second Chance, which is not only you know a second edition, you know, vibed up with the ENO tool artwork and stuff. It also has a cooperative mode, and I'm going to be playing the solo version of that today. That's got a few tweaks, but it'll give you a good idea of the cooperative version of the game. If you'd like to see the original competitive version, I have already done a playthrough of that. I'll put that in the corner. Uh, be, to, be sure to turn on your subtitles to the Klingon channel if I've made any mistakes. They'll hopefully be corrected there. Uh, there is a static camera and a handheld camera. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of practice for a couple of weeks over Christmas. Uh, and yes, have a good time. Oh, it's only possible thanks to my Patreon campaign, patreon.com slash drips. So this is a game where it's set on a planet called Earth where the planet is dying because of climate change and the humans on it have decided to do something about it. Imagine that. So we are trying our best to stop fossil fuel plants being built and the way to do that is to build all of these renewable energy plants instead. There are several requirements, several goals that are out, well quite a lot of them, that we will be punished each year, increasingly so, if we don't achieve each one. For every one that we haven't achieved in the first decade, we lose a point. In the second decade, it's two points each, three points each, four points each by the end of the fourth decade. There are four decades to play through. This is the special solo setup sheet. There are four UN cards of each type. They want us to have built certain power plant types to be able to take those. We want to take as many of those as possible because to win the game, we play through all four decades. We have four turns each decade. We need to complete our two private goals. I was dealt four and picked two of them. And we need to claim all but three of these UN goal cards. So we need to build a lot of power plants. Uh, so my special goals for this game. At the end of the game, I need to have six CEPs in my possession. These are carbon emission permits. I remember all of this now. Uh, we've just been saying the abbreviations. I remember it from all of my uh, notes and things for doing the first video. Uh, and I also want to have done the infrastructure for three power plants of the same energy type. So that, that could be a little bit tricky, but hopefully we'll, we'll choose a, a, a cheap one. So we are thinking long term about these UN goals, but we, we will have to diversify a little bit and do different forms of energy. So I don't think those are the biggest worry right now. The biggest worry right now are these goals out here and they want us to do different things. So these green goals want us to have built certain power plants, either of certain energy types, which you can see by assemble or in certain continents, you can see by their name. This one is to do with research. We want to either be halfway up certain research tracks or all the way to the end of research tracks as well to get those flipped over. And finally, these refer to summits. We will get scientists in the game. They will get sent to summits. We want to complete the summit, which is a scientist on every space of the summit. Uh, and they want to either be talking about certain topics or go to summits that cover certain numbers of topics. You play the solo game with the inspector variant. And based on some random tiles that were drawn from the bag, the inspectors moved a little bit and the space that they are above is a certain goal, one green, one blue. If we don't achieve that goal this decade, then the punishments for those ones are doubled, which, you know, isn't so bad in year one, one points to two, but in the last year, four points to eight points could be quite a big deal. So we need to be thinking about that as well. And the final thing that's changed for Solo is these cubes are set out, there's a, there's a process for it, but these cubes are set out to tighten up control of regions because obviously if it's only you playing, you're going to be in control of a region as soon as you've built something there. Uh, but there are, there are a few cubes from a neutral colour there that you know, need you to think about it, need you to put some effort into getting control, especially in uh, certain regions where it'll be more difficult. So I think... That's all of the kind of extra preliminary solo stuff. If you're familiar with CO2, then hopefully you'll just highlight all of the changes. But if you are completely new to it, I'll go through everything that I'm doing. So hopefully it will all make sense. So over to my player board. Marty isn't playing in this because it's just solo, but he's here for moral support. I have two tech cubes. These are used for building power plants and they're also used for claiming UN cards later on. 
I have two CEPs. These are also important for building power plants, but doing the infrastructure for power plants as well. There are three steps to building a power plant. You need to propose it, do the infrastructure, and then actually build it. So uh, CEPs are important for two of those steps. I have a scientist, and they can be put out later to go to the summits and things. And I start off with $3.00. I assume it's you know, three million or something like that to actually get any of these projects off the ground. Uh, so let's get started. On your turn, you have a choice of one of three main actions. You must do a main action. And then there are three executive actions. You may do any number of them, including none of them or all of them, uh, in any order that you want before or after your main action. Uh, but you can only do each one once. Now, there is a special thing for the solo game. I can choose to tick up the pollution of the world, uh, and that is going to tick up at the end of each decade anyway. We'll see that later on. But I can choose to increase it further to take a second main action. And I will need to do this, really, to be able to achieve anything significant in the game. I'm going to have to do that uh, a fair few times. But, you know, it's risky, it's increasing pollution and uh, losing points and things and increasing the risk that I will lose the game before uh, even reaching the end of the fourth decade and seeing what my uh, score and rank is. Uh, so you can take a second main action, but it has to be different from the first one that you took. And that's why you've got uh, a marker from an unused player color to uh, denote which one that you took. So, for my main action, I'm of course going to have to propose something, because I can't do the infrastructure or build. It's a, it's a three-step process, so since there's nothing out on the board, I'm going to have to propose something. Now, do I want to do any executive actions first? Well, the executive actions are cards. Now, claiming a UN gold card, you can claim a UN gold card if you have built infrastructure for power plants that have since been built on the board. So if I had done the infrastructure, the second stage of two uh, forestry uh, plants, then I would be able to claim this card and pay two uh, tech cubes for it. Obviously, we don't have to think about those at all until multiple power plants have been built out onto the world. So the other cards that we get are these. We get five of them at the start of the game, and that's it. We never get any more. But when you have fulfilled the criteria on it, you can play it. So if I do the build stage for a wind farm, I can get myself $3. Or if I send a scientist to talk about wind farms, I can get an extra wind farm knowledge, which is important. You need knowledge to be able to build power plants. Alternatively, though, I can play them just as an executive action and not fulfill their criteria to get the reward that's in the corner. So an extra tech cube or $2. Uh, and later on, I can send scientists to cards that have already been played and get this reward in the corner again. I can go to the market, and this is to do with buying and selling CEPs. Or I can move my scientist, and you know, the, the scientist has to either go onto a card that's already been played or onto a project that has uh, been proposed and doesn't already have a scientist on it. So... Obviously, for now, there's nothing proposed, so I'm not going to do that. So let's propose something. Let's put my marker down and finally take an action after how much waffle. I don't know how long I've been going on, but hopefully you're still with me. Well, let's propose something. So what do we want to propose? Well, we can propose any of these things. There is no cost for proposing a power plant. There's no cost for just suggesting it to the continent. What I want to be thinking about is the goals over here. So... Since the inspector is there, I would probably like to get something built in South America. But if I would like to get multiple goals achieved at once, which, you know, that's the that's the ideal in the co-op game, I probably want, you know, hydroelectric or wind energy, because if that got built by the end of this decade, I would be able to flip two of the goals rather than just one. Now, wind farm can be a bit of a long-term goal as well, because I want to go up the knowledge tracks in wind, we don't particularly need to talk about it in summits, unfortunately, apart from these really big ones, but they need four scientists on them, and it's just me. So I'm going to have to unlock all of my scientists to be able to be speaking at these uh, big summits if I want to do that uh, goal. Or, you know, a lot of the ones out there are four that just happen to have come out like that. If I go for wind, I do have some cards that refer to wind. You know, once I build a wind power plant, I'll get some extra money. But I think there are, there are summit goal tiles for two topics and hydroelectric and recycling. And there is a summit there that wants to talk about both. So I think I'm going to go for, in South America, hydroelectric. 
So to propose a power plant, let's go through the steps. Place, place the new project tile. So it's going in South America. And, well, you have to check, actually, does this region want this kind of power plant? So they didn't want wind, actually, so that uh, kind of made my decision for me. So they, they have to want it. Where, how much they want it doesn't matter. It's just they will only accept power plants of these three types. I have three spaces available, since there's nothing there, to propose my power plant in. I can either get myself money. This is money equal to the number of CEPs in the region, and this will definitely go down as the game goes on. So I could get myself four extra dollars. Good for having enough money to be able to build the thing eventually. I can go here and either move my scientist, get an extra scientist move action, or I can gain a new scientist. That is what I'm tempted by. Uh, and finally here I can get myself two extra tech cubes, which you know, if I want to build the thing in the end, I'll probably need some more tech cubes. But I think I am quite worried about scientists. Yeah, I'm going to propose this here and gain a new scientist. Uh, it also gets me a knowledge of the type that I played. So let's get me a new scientist. That just goes into my scientist bank there from the supply. I get myself a knowledge in hydroelectricity. So since it's my very first knowledge, I take this disc and I put it on the first space here, which happens to be level one. I now have the ability to do the build stage of hydroelectric power plants, which isn't a bad thing, is it? So I've placed the project, I've gained a knowledge, and then I received the grant from the project space. That was my scientist. So thinking about extra actions now, I think I'm going to do an executive action of move a scientist. So I take the scientist. The scientist can either move from your hand here into a project, a, a proposed project that doesn't have a scientist on it, or it can go to a played card in the corner, or it can go from a project either back here to a summit to another project uh, or onto a card. It cannot go straight to a summit. So my scientist is going to go from my hand over here. And he is just going to hang out there. When the scientist leaves the project, I will get some knowledge of the type that he was there researching as well. So that's going to be a bit of a bonus. Now, I think to get things moving, I am just going to take that second action. So I need to tick the pollution up, reach right across and tick that up one step. We've got 410 ppm of uh, CO2 in the atmosphere now. I can't propose a new project, which is a shame. I would like to, but I can do the infrastructure. Now, I can't. My executive actions don't refresh. So although I'm taking another main action here, I can't do anything about scientists. Luckily, I don't need to, though. So for infrastructure step, I need to pay a CEP. Now the CEP can come from my hand or it can come from a region that I control. You control regions once you have built power plants there. So I'm not going to have any CEPs coming from these places yet. So it comes from my hand. When you pay CEPs, they always go back to the supply. When you sell CEPs with an executive action, they go back to the market in the middle. So the steps, pay a CEP, done that. Move the scientist, if any. So whoever scientist this is gets to decide where it goes and you know can go from a project, can go back to the hand, to a card, to another project that's out there. But I am going to send my scientist to a summit and he's going to talk about hydroelectric all the way out there. And that scientist is locked there now until that summit is full up and gets resolved. Next up, we receive benefits, and this is different depending on the type of uh, energy that you are building a plant of. So I get myself $3. So that gives me 6 now. A tech cube and a CEP. So the CEP comes from the market. And the tech cube comes from up on the board there. Then you flip the tile. And you place your infrastructure token to show that it was you that did the infrastructure. And these are very beautifully done so that they slot in here and it all looks very groovy. And it shows that I did the infrastructure. One important change from the original CO2 is that where the person that did the final step, the building, 
got all of the credit, it's actually much better now to do the infrastructure. You get the credit for the UN goals and things for doing the infrastructure rather than the final building stage. So I haven't got anything that would benefit from a card. I could buy another CEP. They cost three at the moment, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I am happy to end my turn there. So we advance to the second round, depending on the number of players. You know, if there's four players, everybody only gets uh, two actions, but for a one or two player game, everybody gets four actions. So we're on the second action now. I can bring my markers back and everything is available to do again. I think we want to get proposing again. We want to try and get as many built as possible. So I'm going to propose a new one. I could, of course, finish building this power plant. I don't think I have quite enough money. It costs $9, a CEP, and a tech cube to finish building that plant. So I haven't quite got enough for that yet, but I think we're going to solve that problem. I want to complete this summit, so I would like a scientist to have talked about a recycling plant. So for them to be able to do that, I need to have put one out on the board. So I think I'm going to propose a recycling plant. Now, getting the most money from a region, you want the region with the most CEPs. And look at Asia over there, six CEPs. So putting a project, proposing a project here in the get a dollar for every CEP in the region, that will get me six. There is a goal for doing one in Asia. So that's something good to work, work towards. So I think I'm quite happy doing that. So let's check the steps. Place new project tile, check the region's agenda. Asia does want recycling, not as much as hydroelectric and solar power. I'm going to place it in this spot here so I can get myself the $6. And I get myself a knowledge in recycling, which puts me at level one and also gives me the ability to build the uh, power plant. Couldn't think of the word there. Oh, this will be a subtitle. When my scientist left the hydroelectric plant, he should have gotten a knowledge in here. So now I can build level two power plants, which... Once we get down past the level ones, there are level twos under there, and you have to have reached the appropriate space to go up there. A, a good point, actually, in the co-op game is that whenever anybody gains knowledge, it can be given to any player, which is a really nice thing because you know, in the original game, you, want, you were competing. You wanted to be a bit of everywhere, and you wanted to keep up with everyone else. But in the cooperative game, you want to divide these types up so that one person can progress as quickly as possible across one so you can achieve these goals and so they can get the benefits and things, and you know, you're sharing out the rewards, so it's, it doesn't matter about competing with them anymore. Uh, anyway, that's just an aside. So I've proposed a new power plant. I believe I've had all the rewards. I'm going to move my second scientist now out to that power plant. I don't have anything for recycling plants, unfortunately, so these cards are just going to have to stick with me for now. I think I'm, I'm going to do a second action again, so we need to progress the pollution. Another step. And I could build that power plant now, but I think I'm, I'm going to wait a second. I'm going to do infrastructure again as my second action. So a similar thing, I need to pay a CEP. Move scientist, if any, it's mine, so I decide. When your scientist moved off, you get a point in that energy type, and I'm going to send him over to this summit. So that will be resolved now uh, at the end of my turn, because that summit ha is full up of scientists. Then move scientists, if any, receive benefits. So the benefit for a recycling plant is a CEP and also $5. So I am quite uh, well off right now, but I haven't really spent anything yet, have I? Uh, and then receive tile benefits, flip the tile and place my infrastructure token. Let's pop that up there and get another infrastructure out. And there we go. I don't think there's anything else to do with these things just yet. Do I want to end my turn there? Do I, I can buy... Oh, oh when, whenever the market is empty, we restock it. Now, this means that nobody can do market actions this turn anymore. You're going to have to wait until the next player's turn. So I don't have that option to do market, so I am done. But whenever it's empty, we tick the price up one and we refill with two from the supply. So that does make it a bit more attractive if I wanted to sell a CEP. I don't think I'm going to do that yet, though. So we would move on to the third round of turns, but we need to resolve a summit. 
So all this basically means is that a summit has happened. These scientists have talked about these subjects, which they can do because they've spent time in those power plants looking at how they run. Now, goals, we, we can evaluate these you know, in a later phase of the decade, at the end when we decide how much uh, punishment we're getting. But I find it easier to just flip them over now to remember that you've done them. Uh, so the inspector one, we're going to make sure that's done. So a, a, a summit where we talked about two topics, that is OK here. We're talking in Essen, by the way. Uh, and so we can flip that one over so the inspector is not going to be extra harsh on us. We've also talked about hydroelectricity and recycling, so we can flip over those. So in one summit there, we've managed to talk about three separate topics. Uh, two topics, but we've managed to uh, do three separate goals. That's <laughs> what I was trying to say there. Uh, and so for now, each scientist gets you two knowledge of any of the types that were discussed at the summit. So each scientist could get me two of each type. I could get four hydroelectricity if I wanted, for example, or I could split it up any way that I want because I'm the only person there. So I'm getting four knowledge in somewhere. Now, we do want to get halfway on hydroelectricity. That's that purple one there. I think it would be helpful to be there as quickly as possible. So we could take three here. We can go one, two. Now we've reached a reward. This is get a knowledge in solar power. So I can put my disk there. Doesn't give me the ability to build those power plants just yet. You need to get to the second space. But all of this is also increasing the income that I am hoping to get at the end of the round. Uh, so that has two spaces. The third space takes me to the purple, uh, the purple reward, which is basically the halfway track for the goal. So I can flip another goal over. And so I've got one point left. So I could go up here again. It wouldn't actually increase my income. It would put me on the forestry track, but that's zero for income. So maybe I want to go up something else, maybe solar or maybe I want to go up to recycling because then I'm one off another reward going up here. But actually recycling, getting to halfway isn't particularly a concern we want to get halfway in wind and forestry and then all the way to the end in wind and solar so maybe we just want to get started on wind then let's go there that will be my oh i can't just choose one can i it's got to be uh it's got to be here or, or recycling i don't just get any one just yet oh actually but I, I do get any one when i recruit a scientist i forgot all about that didn't i so let's say that one was in, uh, was in wind to make all of that waffle for something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's, let's take the last one. We don't want to go all the way in either of these things. So I think, I think it's better to go up here and then this is going to spread us out. We want to get halfway on forestry and I'm a step further. I'm a step closer towards doing that now. So that was all of the summit stuff. These scientists come back to my hand. This summit tile goes away and we draw a fresh one from the stack and it's in New Delhi and it's going to discuss three topics. And yes, that was my turn, wasn't it? So we can come back, reset all of this, go to the third one. So I think I absolutely want to get something built. So let's, let's show off that because I haven't done any building. So let's do that first. Do I want to do that? Yeah, these I haven't got cards that help me with those, but they'll they'll come up soon. So let's let's build a power plant. So I can either build the one up there is recycling. That's the cheapest, or the hydroelectric one's a bit more expensive. Let's just do this one. It's closer. So I am going to pay for a level one. It costs me nine dollars, which I can quite nicely afford, uh, and a CEP and a tech cube, which I can also afford. To pay the cost. Uh, discard the oldest pollutive power plants. This only happens if all of these spaces are full up. Uh, they're not right now. Move the infrastructure to the region space. So this was built in the 2010s. So we can slide this one down here. Place the power plant. Now, each of these has got a beautiful wooden piece. We can see what's the... Oh, I've put all of these upside down. Uh, but uh, yeah, there we go. There is the lovely hydroelectric plant there. You can see I did the infrastructure and then it's all finished nicely here. Earn victory points for a level one. That's going to give me six. 
In the solo game, we do start off at 20. So I've now got 26 points. Place your control cube. So I need to show that I have built one hydroelectric here. And then we check for region control. Now I'm not in control of this region. You want to be in control of as many different types as possible. The person who has built the most different types gets the control. So we've each built one, but South America cares about forestry a lot more than hydroelectricity. So I don't take control just yet, but as soon as I build something of another type here, I will take control and be able to spend CEPs from here. Well, now we've built something, we can actually go to the goals. I've built something in South America, which the inspector wanted me to do, and it's hydroelectric, so we can flip that goal over also. So that's two of those knocked out. Do I want to take another action? I do. So let's move the pollution up. And so there's, there's nothing to do the infrastructure of, so I need to propose something new. So I think I want to go for this summit next because look at these goals. Talk about, I can't think of the name, recycling and forestry. Perfect. So yeah, let's, let's propose... What would it be easiest to get to the... We want to get to the middle of forestry, don't we? So let's let's propose forestry. And this is going to get me some more CEPs, which I am going to need. So let's... Am I going to have enough money? Yeah, I'm going to have enough money. CEPs I might not have enough of. So let's propose this somewhere. So what are we, I think every region has still got a tile. So not particularly Asia. So we've got two in Europe. Europe care about this. Do I want to get a third scientist? Maybe I want to get a third scientist because it would give me more. It would give me some more knowledge. Finishing the summit would get me to halfway on there, though. I don't think I'm going to get that done this decade. Let's get some money. Am I going to have enough tech cubes? I think so. Let's, let's, let's get money. So I'm going to go here because that's going to get me $5. We gain a knowledge in forestry. And... Yep, I think that's all okay. So now I'm going to do my move scientist and move my scientist to that power plant. And I think now that's my turn. I don't want to buy or sell a CEP. Once my scientist goes off to the summit, I can play that next turn if I uh, keep uh, with my plan, which I think I'm going to. So we can just move on. There's no summit to have finished yet. We've gone to the fourth and final action of the decade. Reset these. So first up, so I've got enough CEPs to do everything. I'm going to do infrastructure first. So infrastructure here, it costs me a CEP. Then move scientist, if any, I'm going to move to a summit. So that gets me a knowledge in forestry. And I'm going to send him to the Lisboa conference. Uh, when I can, I can play the card in a minute. <laughs> so not in the middle of this action. Uh, so move the science of any, receive benefits. So my benefits are two CEPs, which does drive the price of these CEPs up. I can't do a market action this turn now. Then receive the benefits, flip the tile, and place my infrastructure token. And yeah, that's all of that. So now I'm going to do my, my cards. I'm going to play this card here. Oh, I'm just thinking right here. So I'm, I, I get myself an extra forestry knowledge. If I gave up on that $5 and I had taken the scientist instead, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to take back. It's a solo game. <laughs> I'm going to have taken a scientist instead because that would give me a knowledge of any type and I would choose to take forestry which gets me another CEP, and it also does one more goal. And I just want to get them done as quickly as possible. So now I have this option. Let's put this over here. I can now send a scientist over here to get $2, but that scientist is there forever and lost. So I don't want to do that because that, that's actually quite bad for me. I only, I only have to do one of these things. I don't necessarily have to do it. So we absolutely have to pay for another action. And that's going to be to build the recycling plant that is up in Asia. So that is going to be, the cost is $7. So I have $1 left to my name, a CEP and a textile. Then we move the 
infrastructure down and we can place the power plant. And then earn victory points. It's five for the recycling, so I'm on 31. Place the control cube. So that puts me in the worst type, but as soon as I build another type, I'll take control of that region. And check region control. Yeah, I'm not in control yet. So that is all of that. I can't... I can't move a scientist, basically. There is no project out there. I can't get a project out there. Unless I wanted to put a scientist on this card, but it's there forever, and I can't afford to do that because I need to use my four scientists to go to one of these conferences at some point, I think. Although it'd be very difficult to do. Maybe that's just a goal we need to leave. Anyway, I'm not going to do... Uh, I'm not going to do any markets. I'm not going to do any cards. That is it. So... Whew, we can move on. Two other things. Oh, we need to do one more flip, actually. We built a power plant in Asia. And I think that catches us right up. So the first thing we need to be doing is income. Now, in a game with three or four players, it's the two people furthest up each track that get considered. In a two-player game, it's just the furthest. And of course, in solo, it's only you. So in a solo game, you basically add up these numbers. So I've got two, four, nothing, nothing, and another four. That gives me eight income. I can split this any way I like between points or money. But one tip that it gives you is that you might want to see how many points you are giving up before you decide that. So I'm actually going to do these two phases first. So phase three is the environmental goals phase. We look at the environmental goals that are remaining and we're going to lose a point for every one. Uh, and that, that penalty is doubled if it's the one the inspector cares about. Luckily, we've done the inspector ones. So I have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12, 13 goals that haven't been met yet. So I need to lose one, two, three, and then another 10. I'm down to 18 points. So that's two less than I started the game with. Which is why it starts you with points, really. Phase four is the energy supply phase. And this is where you need the fossil fuel plants. Starting with the region that you are in. And I, I, I was a little bit confused by this, actually. But it means, you know, the region you're in right now. I'm in Europe. So we start with Europe. Has a power plant been built in Europe this decade? It hasn't, so I need to go to the fossil fuel bag of doom and pull one out. There we go, it's only 20 ppm, so I need to go there. A CEP is taken from the region to pay for that power plant, and then we need to increase the global emissions by 20. 10, 20, very close to the top already. We don't lose as soon as it hits 500. But uh, next up, we, we just go clockwise now. It's Africa. That's another 20. CEP is lost. And we go up another 20. Asia. One was built, so we don't have to worry there. Oceania. No, one was not built. So we have a 30 there. Take a CEP away. And 10, 20. Now we go over. Now this is something that we can do. For it, we can reduce the emissions. We can't reduce them lower than 400, but for every 10, it's going to cost us a point. So, so I can keep track. I'm just going to pay that point now and leave us at 500. Then we go to North America. This is the last one we'll be putting in. We've been quite lucky because there are 40s in the bag. I can't actually get one out. I've just got like a pile of three or four. There we go. There's a 40. I was cheating. 10, 20, 30, 40. That leaves us on 500. And I think what I would like to do is pay the full 10 points. So that will put me down to only three points. And I'm going to put it all the way back down to 400. So I feel more able to take those extra actions, which cost me a step on that pollution track every time. So looping back around to income, I had eight income. I've got no money. But look at the number of points that I lost trying to stay in the game and these punishments are going to get more and more so in the second decade every goal is a two point punishment and every step down the pollution track is two points instead of one so yeah things could get quite worrying here i'm very low on money but i can propose things to get more money and i haven't used these cards yet i've got a couple that will give me some more money I think 
risky as this feels right now, I'm going to take I'm going to take three dollars and then I'll take the five in points. So that puts me on eight points. And then we go to the end of the decade phase. We basically reset this. First player passes in a game with more players. We're in the 2020s now. Yay, we are. And what else changed? We need to remove the inspectors. So we draw a tile out from the fossil fuel bag. And this basically tells us how many steps to move them around. So 20 is two spaces. And they go around in a big circle. So the inspector moves one, two spaces. So the inspector wants something built in North America. And another tile for the blue inspector, that is going to be a 30. So skip all the empty spaces. One, two, three. Oh, dear. I don't think that's happening. Let's see, though. Who knows? What do I know? So we are now at the start of the 2020. So that is the whole first decade. Hopefully that wasn't too long. It's under an hour in filming, so hopefully that's going to be a reasonable length edited down. I'm going to stop this video here, and I'm going to go through the whole rest of the game in the second video. I'll, I'd say I'll go all the way to the end. I don't know if that's going to be to the end of the fourth decade or just the point that I lose. I guess the length of the video is going to give you a little bit, little bit of a clue towards that. I hope you enjoyed this. Gave you a good idea of what CO2 is like in general, what it's like cooperatively. Uh, and hope you join me in that second part. Oh, if you want to know what I think about it, there's a link for that coming up on the screen soon as well. But yeah, thumbs up. See you in the next video. Bye, everyone.